Hey everybody, today I'm gonna do a makeup look and I'm going to use all drugstore products and mainly I'm going to use some very affordable CoverGirl products. CoverGirl is one of my very favorite products. It's what I started using as a teenager and I'm still using a lot of those things to this very day. One of the newer products that I am using, I've just started using it, is the CoverGirl and Olay. It's called Simply Ageless. It has skincare ingredients uh, put inside of it. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. And so you don't have to use a moisturizer in it and it's really great. Um, they also have a primer that goes with it and I found that I have to use the primer too because it kind of fills in my pores. It's very moisturizing and I really love it. So I'm gonna start out with that. And then here's the foundation and I have it in creamy beige. And what I like to do is just put a couple pumps on my finger. And here's what the color looks like. And I, I just apply it with my finger and then my fingers. And then when I'm, I've got it pretty good, I smooth it out with a brush. It's, it's very nice. And it, it just blends in so well. I think it gives maybe a medium to full coverage. I have that. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to use an eyeshadow primer and I like to use the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I have hooded eyes and it's really easy for your eyeshadow just to get all over your eyes. So you just have to wear an eyeshadow primer nowadays. Plus it just makes your eyeshadow stay on so much better. Then while that sets up, I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to use this Rimmel, let's see, it's called Brow This Way. And I'm going to use the color Blonde. And this, it has a, it has a spoolie on one end, and then it has a, a retractable pencil. And this is a nice, creamy, it's got a nice creamy texture to it. And it, it works very well. I'm just going to fill in my brows. Now that I've got that done, I'm just going to spoolie them in. I missed a little spot. Now the next thing I like to do with my brows is I, um, I like to use a gel to set them and this is something you can do. You can do it if you want or you don't have to. But I like to use a clear gel and I like to use the e.l.f. clear gel. There's other gels you could get too. There, there's the Maybelline clear mascara you could use. But I like to get this, it's only $2. This kind of sets them into place. Okay, next we're gonna go on to the eyeshadow. 
and I'm going to use CoverGirl, CoverGirl again and I'm going to use my absolute favorite CoverGirl eyeshadow and that is the Shimmering Sands Trio and maybe you've seen this before. This is what I started out using when I was a teenager. Um, it, if I remember right, I, I'm pretty sure I do remember right, it used to come in a quad. Um, I do like to add a little bit to it. Uh, I don't use all three of these uh, colors. I actually add a darker brown to it, so I actually do have a quad, and I'm going to use this darker brown in, in here. But um, I'm going to start out by using this this color right here, this darker one, and I'm going to give myself a transition shade right here. I don't know how many of you watching have hooded eyes, but man, you have to do your eyeshadow so much differently with the hooded eyes. Maybe, maybe one day I can maybe do a little tutorial on how I do my hooded eyes. I do, I do them all different ways, but um, such a challenge now and your eyeshadow just hides, hides on you. It just goes away. Okay. Now that I've got that transition shade, I'm going to go in. This is where I take this other color. I'm gonna take this, this really dark shade and I'm going to go in with it and I am going to give myself a little outer V. You know, you can take, you can take any colors that you want. You just take, uh, all you need is whenever you do your eyes like this, you could take any colors. You could just take a, uh, a medium color, then a darker color. And then, and then you, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a lighter color to put, um, last. So say, I like to wear a lot of purples, so I would take a uh, light purple first, and then a dark color, dark purple second, and, and then a light color last. So, okay, so there I've done, done that. And, oops. I'm gonna, Blend those best I can. I'm looking in my big mirror, if you, uh, my magnifying mirror. Okay, now I'm going to go back into this this one, this, this, let me open that up. I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm going to pack, pack that right on to my mobile lid. Just pack it on.
Then I'm also going to put just, just a little bit up on the highlight. On the brow bone, I mean, the highlight. Do the same thing on the other side. that in a little bit. Okay. Now my next step, I don't always do this, but I'm going to do this for this um, makeup look. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. Uh, this is called Pretty and Mink. It's like a brown eyeliner. I don't always use eyeliner. And I am just, I'm just going to put it along my lash line here, just, just only about maybe halfway right along my, my lash line. Just, just a tiny bit. That's all I need to do. Now maybe I'll put a little, this is another thing I'll, I don't always do, but put a little bit on the lower, just right here in the corner. Then I'm also gonna go back into this this shade that I used for my transition and I'm just gonna run it right along here on the bottom you know when you have hooded eyes you don't have much uh, room on the top of your eyes so you gotta run your eyeshadow along the bottom to give yourself a little bit more room for color, right? Now, to make my eyes a little bit more bigger, and this is another thing I don't always do, but I'm gonna take this white eyeliner from Rimmel and I'm gonna do my waterline here at the bottom. That's going to make my eyes look bigger. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And I'm going to put on my favorite mascara from the drugstore. It's L'Oreal's Voluminous. And the color I'm using, I actually bought it on accident. I bought black brown, but I usually light black. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bronzer to contour a little bit. And I have to tell you about this bronzer. It's a CoverGirl cover bronzer and it is in golden tan. And I've got to tell you that this color is almost an exact dupe of Benefit's Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to show you. Wait till you see this. This, this, this is really something. Okay. Here's the Hula Bronzer. And here's the CoverGirl. Now the CoverGirl is it's got some shimmer to it where the hula is a little matte so here's right i'm gonna put the the cover girl i had a little mascara on my finger but 
Here's the cover girl. And here's the hula. So this is cover girl and there's hula. They're almost the same. That's something. I, you know, I've never worn the CoverGirl bronzer before, but when I saw it at the store, I, I couldn't believe it. When I saw that. Anyway, but we're gonna use the we're gonna use the CoverGirl. But on the face. Even though there's that little bit of shimmer there, it really, really doesn't show up shimmery, really. It shows up just the same. I, I think it's, it's just perfect. I'll do a little bit on the side of my nose just I don't I don't go too crazy on the side of my nose but okay now I'm gonna use my favorite this is my favorite blush this is a cheeker and it's pretty peach or pretty in peach just pretty peach it's pretty peach this I've also been using since I was a teenager just really really nice I like to put a little up here. Now I'm gonna use their highlighter. Their highlighter, I have it, um, it's in champagne. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty heavy duty highlighter. So you have to go kind of lightly on it. You have to um, just put, bit, just put a little tiny bit because it's got a lot of shimmer to it. Just put it, just the smallest little amount I was watching another YouTuber and she uh, mentioned that there's like a little a blush trio that you could buy that has um, three blushes in it. It's a blush trio, but one of the blushes looks like a highlight and I might look for that and try that, but you know, there's that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Use some e.l.f. Uh, Mist and Set Setting Spray. I'm not done. I It looks, I know I used a lot. I'm not done yet. I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to do a little bit more to finish it off. Okay, now that my setting spray is dry, I'm going to do a little finishing touch with some CoverGirl, what's it, what it's called, Clean Professional uh, Finishing Powder. And this uh, color is a Translucent Fair. And it comes with this little puff. And what I do is I just kind of dab it on. What that does, it kind of just takes off the shine and it fills in my pores just a little bit more. This has that Noxzema smell, if you remember that from uh, back, way back when. I used to love that smell. 
That does it doesn't come out cakey or anything like that. And then to finish off for my lips, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, lip pencil, and this is the color Raisin. And then I'm going to put on this CoverGirl Continuous Color Lipstick in the color Dusty Rose. So here's the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you come back to see me again. Bye.